Hi and welcome to Faith into Greatness. Today I feel inspired to talk about the end of times. You know, I recently celebrated my stepson's birthday and I was a little bit nostalgic and we were reminiscing about the other birthdays that I've celebrated with him over the years. And I had a vision of celebrating his 35th birthday. And I told him that and he looks at me and he goes, what? He goes, I'll still be around then. He goes, G I thought Jesus was going to come before that. And I looked at him and I was like, what? And it wasn't the first time that we had this conversation. I have a little chat. I'm going to have my morning coffee and we're going to chat about the end of times, right? So it's funny. So many people think when they see what's going on in the world today that you know, the end of the world is coming any moment now. And Jesus is going to arrive. Christians all over feel like this is, you know, we're living in the end of times, I'm sure. And I'm sure a lot of people feel similarly, feel similarly, feel similarly. And it may very well be the end of times. But is this something that any of us should be thinking about? Heck no. You should all be living your lives and nobody should be thinking about that kind of stuff. I know for me, my stepson and I have talked about this kind of stuff. And as of lately, we seem to be talking about it a little bit more. I know he shared with me that his mom seems to think that Jesus is going to come before she passes. And I just think all this kind of conversation is very, very weird. And I don't know why anybody would be having these kind of conversations, especially with their kid. But you know what? My son, he really wants to talk about this kind of stuff. And you know what I told him and what I would tell anybody is that nobody knows when the time is going to come. Nobody, not one person knows when the Lord's going to come on this earth. And for us to even be hypothesizing is crazy. We should be thinking about how we can live lives that are obedient to the Lord so that, God forbid, anything should happen to you. You're not tossed into the depths of hell. I hope and pray while you're here on earth, as the Bible says, what you reap here on earth is also what you reap and sow up in heaven. And I hope that you're asking the Lord for forgiveness every day, that you're being obedient to God your mind and your manners, and that you don't care what other people have going on. Hopefully you're being somebody who's helpful to the world and to society rather than somebody who's being burdensome and putting weight on others relentlessly rather than taking care of yourself. I hope this message blesses you all. Please remember that we're nowhere near the end of times. And, you know, as the Bible says that, Nation will rise up against nation, and we are not to be afraid when we see all this destruction around us, okay? It means that the Lord is getting rid of what the Lord wants to get rid of, and that the Lord is rebuilding new. I hope this message blesses you all. May you continue to walk in faith and prayer. Take care, and God bless.